Oh la la! Hello beautiful souls! Smile! How are you? How's your day? I hope you had a great day and you feel blessed and grateful today. So earlier I was asked on my thoughts or reaction on a particular teacher who gone viral because of that particular segment or a game in Showtime. So when I was asked about it, I honestly do not know about the video. I didn't know about that. I don't have any information or background knowledge about it. So I was asking the person of the context because it's hard to react on something that you lack um, knowledge or you lack information because you might have a tendency to, you know, to give a wrong reaction on something and i think it's it's also very wrong not to to react on something you don't have any knowledge about so that's why i was asking can you give me a piece of information about it so i was told that there was this teacher who joined a particular segment a game in showtime and he was asked on a particular question a general knowledge question actually on who was the first woman president in the philippines and he answered gloria macapagal arroyo which was actually wrong because it's corazon aquino and prior to that he was giving a lot or telling a lot about himself to an extent that people are thinking that it's over flexing over confident and all so when I heard about that, I had to verify it myself. So I was searching for the the, vi the video, the actual video recording, and I saw it. I saw one here on TikTok, and I watched the particular video clip. And of course, when I was able to see it already, uh, my my initial reaction was, "It's normal. It's natural," because. In, in one way or another, I can relate to Sir Tony. Um, Tony ba? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it's Sir Tony. Um, I can relate with him because the early times wherein I'm asked of a certain information, it's a general knowledge, but I could hardly recall what what's exactly the answer. And I also have the tendency to give a wrong information. I mean, I think we have to acknowledge that that all of us we also have the tendency to commit mistake to be wrong in our response when we are asked um there are even times where and um i i forgot where to put where did i put my coin purse that i just hold uh i, I just held earlier by those things like that so when i was watching the video i think it was really normal it was natural so i have that kind of understanding on him and L looking at it on a much deeper level it, it made me realize as well that yeah there are certain angles that we could point out that we could look into uh, like for example one the amount of pressure the the, the context the situation itself because it was a game show it it's not an ordinary circumstance it's not an ordinary conversation he was there though for entertainment value he was there for for fun he was there for the experience itself right and but the reality is it's still a game it's still a like uh there is a time element so i think the time pressure in itself i i don't know exactly the rules how many seconds do they have to answer a particular question but the time element itself it would give you so little time to think of the answer so normally when you are asked like that so you you whatever comes first into your mind that would be the answer that you are going to give without any full assurance that your answer is is correct that what uh that's one thing that i have to that i'm looking into um the situation itself the condition it was a game that there his time pressure second it's because he's a teacher so when you're a teacher people have this kind of you know the social expectations that they they put so much the bad we put teacher society always put the teacher on a pedestal no as uh believing that because you're a teacher, you have to know 
these things. Plus, it's a general knowledge, so you really have to know about it. But then again, we also have to recognize that not because he is a teacher, um, he knows everything. The teacher is not... Teachers are not omniscient. They're they're not all knowing. Their thing their their knowledge also have certain limitations. And I've also heard in the video that he's taking his masters, he's taking his uh, he finished his masters and he's currently taking his uh doctorate degree. So the way I look at it, um he's already exposed at the moment with complex things complex ideas and those simple things the very basic ones are actually covered layered over and over with these complex ideas so whenever he is asked with a very simple question it will also take time to you know to to unravel the answer because it's covered so Kumbaga, it, it's piled up, so you really have to dig deeper. Though it's a simple recall, but that recalling would take time because what's on the surface are really the complex ones. So it will take him time to look at it, to really think of the answer. But of course, I also do understand uh, people's reaction and where it's coming from because when I look at in the video, or in a way, uh, when I watched the video, the video clip rather, um, there there was something also na um, I would have to say that there is a sense of justification on the people's reaction. Like people were saying that he's over flexing, he's overconfident, and he's building much about his credentials to an extent that he wasn't able to justify really how he is uh, presenting himself, right? But there are also some items there that I would like to point out that uh, let's give the credit on him. One is he was not actually flexing or over flexing his educational attainment because he was asked. Remember when Zhong asked him first, ano yung pinagkakaabalahan niya ngayon? So he directly answered na um, he finished uh, he already finished his master's degree last year, 2024, and currently he's pursuing his doctorate degree. So that is a answer to the question, anong pinagkakaabalhan mo? Though, um, and then um, he was also asked further, um, what is he taking or what is he pursuing? So he was telling the man or giving his answer and he's pursuing um, educational management or educational leadership. So it wasn't overflexing. He was just answering that question. However, when he was telling now about um, he was been teaching for eight years and then how how noble the teaching profession is i think that's unnecessary at that moment and when he also mentioned that he was re the representative of the philippines when he was in korea last year and he was the only filipino uh, there and so on that was also unnecessary uh, for me so he, he may not say it because the more that it sets higher expectation on people because he is providing unnecessary information that was not really um that was not really for the question in itself and then to an extent that you know the more you build up yourself the more it sets the expectation higher so there was like a misalignment or disharmony with how you present yourself how you build yourself and how you answer to the very simple question so i think in in the in the end um this is also a reminder for us on several things one our self presentation we have to be mindful of how we present ourselves because it will create social expectations and it will create reactions from people so when our self presentation and the way we build up ourselves would not be aligned to our behavior to our actions or to our output at the moment it will put ourselves in question and most importantly it's a reminder that no one is infallible so regardless of how much you achieve this uh, how much status you achieve in the society we all fall for a certain mistake which we have to be kind and generous as well like always